quick! We're gonna need some time to fire up the engines. Let's give the laser turret a workout. Let's get out of here! There is no time. We must leave. If they hit us, we're dead. But if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. Somebody shut that trash compactor up! I'm doing all I can, and that's not enough. What'd you do to make these guys so mad? Well, either they hit us and destroy us, or they hit an asteroid and make the whole field go nova. Now with all these asteroids around us, we'd enter hyperspace in pieces. We have to clear that field first. Thing is, we clear the field and they're gonna have a clear shot at us. What are the asteroids? They can be destroyed by us as well as them, can they not? That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. Hold on! This is gonna get a little rocky. Well, now that we just killed a planet, maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. True. But as one trained in the Force... You know that true coincidences are rare. I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to per Be silent. We're having a conversation here.
repaired this ship, my eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on, get! That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. Look, enough with the Wii already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end I fear it may not be enough. You fought in the Mandalorian Wars and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. <laughs> Your fool's words echo of a Jedi. You have much to learn. Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. Exile or not, the Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. The Jedi Civil War destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi, and the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the Room of a Thousand Fountains have fallen still in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall and the civil war that followed. Perhaps... But they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. But we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh... Not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. We're on autopilot until we hit Telos. Until then, a droid could fly this thing. Besides, I think our passenger could use your help. I think she was barely keeping it together. I'm surprised she's able to stand with all that pain rolling off of her.
Come for more answers. There is little more left to give. That does not surprise me, any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. Save your pity. I am here to save you, not the other way around. I do not need your condescension nor your lectures. If anyone needs training and guidance, it is you. I do not know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme than the sensation you would feel upon my death might be less than that, though much quicker. Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragus. I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong and its roots run deep. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. A powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. These Sith, they seek the death of all Jedi, as have all the Sith, since the Jedi Order was first split. Yes, the Jedi Civil War is not the first one of its kind. Thousands of years ago, the Jedi had another civil war that split the Order. It was a terrible thing. A faction among the Jedi abandoned the teachings of the Order, following their own path. They waged war on their fellow Jedi, a war that raged across the galaxy. But these fallen Jedi were cast out, defeated, and they retreated to worlds in the Outer Rim. Over time, they took on the mantle of the Lords of the Sith, but in their hearts they never forgot the Jedi. The hatred for the Jedi Order burns in their veins like fire and echoes in their teachings. Revan tasted it as Malak did. In a manner of speaking, they are different from Malak in that they are concerned only with the destruction of the Jedi. For them, it is all that matters, all that ever mattered. It is a different war these Sith wage, a thing of silence and shadow. They strike from the darkness, hiding from the face of the galaxy until all Jedi are exterminated. After all, the Jedi are gone. Then the galaxy is theirs, no matter whether the Sith or the Republic rules. It is the dark side that shall reign, unchecked. I believe them to be the result of special teachings. Their apparent weakness against you is evidence of this. 
Those Sith assassins can sense their prey through the Force. It is like a hunger. They feed and grow stronger when they are near Force sensitives. The stronger their prey is in the Force, the deadlier they become. As long as you were cut off from it, you were able to evade their sight. But after Paragus, I fear that you will be no longer shielded from their eyes or the eyes of their masters. The stronger you grow, the more will come. Ask, and I will answer. Much has happened in the galaxy in your absence, and since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V. As you know, Revan and Malak went to war against the Mandalorians, and you followed under Revan's banner. As Revan and Malak fought the Mandalorians in battle after battle, they grew to despise weakness, just as the Mandalorians did. In the end, the Mandalorians had taught them through conflict, shaped the Jedi, and turned them into a weapon against the Republic. Revan and Malak and all the Jedi that served them turned against the Republic and the Jedi Order. Jedi fought Jedi. Revan was ambushed by the Jedi and captured. Malak continued to wage war in his master's place, inflicting terrible wounds on the Republic. Wounds that bleed still. As all Sith do without a strong enemy, the Sith turned on each other. Revan escaped the Jedi and returned to finish Malak, and that was the end of the Jedi Civil War. No one knows, certainly not I. Korriban lies in ruins, Revan is gone, and the blade of war he promised to stab into the heart of the galaxy has withdrawn. Where Revan wanders now, I do not know. It would seem that way from a certain point of view, perhaps. The Jedi Civil War left wounds that have yet to heal. We shall see if the Republic has the strength to survive. A culture's teachings, and most importantly the nature of its people, achieve definition in conflict. They find themselves or find themselves lacking. Too long did the Republic remain unchallenged. It is a stagnant beast that labors for breath and has for centuries. The Jedi Order was the heart that sustained its sickness. Now the Jedi are lost. We shall see how long the Republic can survive. We shall see. The Jedi Civil War cost the Republic much. The resources of the Sith seemed limitless. The Republic's was not. Fleets of warships, soldiers, and people were lost. Entire planets were decimated. Their inhabitants dead, or refugees. It is a great burden for any civilization to bear. And this new threat, it is a quiet thing. Unlike the Jedi Civil War, it drives at something deeper than the strength of the Republic. It is aimed at you. The Republic was never what was important, ever. It was but a shell that surrounds the Jedi, just as the teachings of the Jedi are a shell surrounding the heart of man. You see, the war, the true war, has never been one waged by droids or warships or soldiers. They are but crude matter, obstacles against which we test ourselves. The true war is waged in the hearts of all living things, against our own natures, light or dark. That is what shapes and binds this galaxy, not these creations of man. You are the battleground, and if you fall, the death of the Republic will be such a quiet thing, a whisper, that shall herald the darkness to come. Ask, and I will answer. Indeed. And was it the same as before? If my suspicions are correct, perhaps the damage the Jedi Council did was not as permanent as they thought. It is not an easy thing to cut one off from the Force. What did you believe? That you suddenly lost your connection with the Force without reason? Indeed it is. It is much like losing one's ability to listen or being put into a deep sleep, unable to awaken to the galaxy around you. 
such a thing has been done before, when Jedi have pronounced sentence on their own and exiled them as they did you. It is possible that such a thing can be undone. Still, even so, the chances of the Jedi undoing such a thing for a traitor is a slim thing at best, assuming they yet live. Our link may have had other consequences. Perhaps you can hear the Force again, distantly, through me. If so, then there is hope. I may be able to teach you, train you to feel the Force again. And if you will not allow me to help you, then other Jedi must train you, or undo the damage they have done. Then I am your only hope, as you are mine. We are a sad pair, you and I, to defend the galaxy against such a thing. I offer to train you to become strong again, to know the ways of the Force, and to hear the Force sing within you as it once did. Then our training shall begin. Whenever I travel with you, I shall impart what I can to you through my words and presence. I would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination. I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. He is a fool and an imbecile. His potential lies downwards, not up. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Such a man serves himself first and his allies next. How's our passenger? She's still aging? What a surprise. Just so you Jedi know, the whole cryptic routine isn't mysterious, it's just irritating. If you really can see the future, you should be at the Pazak table. Then she must be royalty, because she's got to be queen of the galaxy to bark out orders like that. Or maybe she's senile. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good-looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. Hey, I just got out of prison. If we had a decent Navi computer, trust me, we'd be dropping out of hyperspace into the Nar Shadda Red Sector right now. After spacing that old witch, of course. Whoa, all right, all right, don't get mad at me. Hey, I didn't ask her to stay behind and get her hand cut off, okay? I mean, I appreciate what she did and all, but she could stand to lay off the insults herself, you know? Yeah? Well, how much water you get from a stone depends what planet you're on. Like we have a choice? It's the only place Baragas had logged in their astrogation charts. Well, if you thought Baragas was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back to life. Should be there before too long. You can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. So? What happened? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Oh, yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Huh. Figures. It wasn't red, was it?
I thought a Jedi and their blade couldn't be parted. To lose it was like losing a part of yourself. All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. Sound of that. If they think we caused the explosion, uh -oh. here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Grant, Tilo Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. That as it may be, the circumstances of your arrival are suspect at best. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. Do you understand? Because this vessel and its passengers are connected with the destruction of a fuel mining facility, one that this station depends upon, we would like to find out the extent of your involvement. Good. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in Residential Module 082. I have many matters to tend to. Your questions will have to wait. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. Someone is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit I'm a little disappointed. Jedi or no, you're the one I am pledged to kill. There is no mistaking that. The Exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The Exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the Exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taking the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive. But I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. The security cameras have mysteriously shorted out. There will be no witnesses to your escape attempt, during which I'll have been forced to kill you. By the time the TSF realize I'm not one of them, I will be far from this place. Easier for me then. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave him alone! You want to fight? Then try me if you've got the guts. 
You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. Security cameras up. What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! All right, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the Force cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed. Uh, uh, who is that? Is that Batu Rem? Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. That's something we're gonna have to look into. I can tell you that it can't have been easy. We've arranged for an apartment in Residential Module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Officer, let Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? I can't say. We have a ship examining what's left of the Paragus facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Now, this is a step up from a force cage, at least. If there are any problems, we'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragus? That could bring the Sith... You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. We cannot stay in any one place too long, but our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Representing the Ithorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. He says he wishes to speak with you on behalf of Chodo Habat. That's all he will say. Very well. I'll let him in now. Yeah. 
Bentuntas Ruizidan Elva Papuelta Tuntuf Blafa Papuelta Tuf Blafa Nibu Elva Sidan Elva Badino Gan Elva Linda Kufta Sidan Elva Badino Gan Elva Linda Kufta Bentuntas Ruizidan Elva Perhaps Chodahabat should turn his eyes to his own people, if they truly suffer so. He endured it out, and he behind Gorukio, when one does, or is he on Elva, Papu Elva. Wouldn't truth love, Papu Elva, truth love, find the book Elva. Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. Good day. I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. I am attempting to connect you with Executive Officer Jenna Lorso. May I put you through? I am sorry, but I do not know. I am only her administrative assistant. May I put you through? Thank you. I will connect you now. Good day. Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am John Aluso. I understand that you were approached by Nathorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Yes, they play at being downtrodden innocents, having come to you because of these Jedi rumors that are going around the station. Oh, I'm sure you've heard that you're a Jedi, one of the last, wanted by the Exchange and who knows how many other organizations, for reasons good or ill. But that's of no interest to me. The Jedi and your standing with them have no bearing on this discussion. Oh, and I suppose he didn't mention the exchange, helping you with any problems here? In other words, the Athorians won't lead the exchange to you if you work with them. Well, no matter. My apologies. I never intended to waste your time discussing Athorians. I believe you're a person of influence, someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. Their plans for the restoration of Telos are aimless and meandering. Restore the sacred, natural beauty of Telos, they say. Just what does that mean? How does that apply to natural resource development and consumption? 
The proper planning of urban sectors, resorts and tourism. It doesn't. The Athorians are spending billions of Republic credits on a plan with no defined profit. If it continues, they'll drive the Republic into irreparable debt and have nothing to show for it but a few meadows and a weather generator the size of a small continent. I'd rather discuss that in person. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions when you visit our offices. That's too bad. Well, you know where we are if you change your mind. Citadel Station is at a crossroads right now, you know. And so are you. Don't take the wrong road. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If he served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi, it seems so extreme. He has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that he turned away from war, did all that he could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do him a disservice by not speaking of this while he is present. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. To further investigate the station's destruction and search for their missing ship, the Harbinger. The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Ebon Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something, you know? It's no big deal. Look, this place is a waste. If Telos wasn't doomed before Paragus blew, it is now. Even more so if your friends from Paragus come calling. Because it depends on Citadel Station, and the Citadel depends on Paragian fuel and the Republic Senators. The Citadel's fuel source went up with the mining facility. And the bickering Senators? Huh. <laughs> Not something worth counting on. It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? The Republic? They can't even properly fund and manage a space station, let alone fight an enemy as cunning and ruthless as the Sith. Even if somebody believed us, the Republic won't be any help. Believe me, I know. Only the Jedi threw the Sith back last time around. 
He may be right, but whatever we do, we should move quickly. Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand, and they're too much for the TSF to handle. The war has really inflated prices here in the Outer Rim. Medical supplies are in short supply. The war has really inflated prices here in the Outer Rim. The war has really inflated prices here in the Outer Rim. Medical supplies are in short supply and high demand. Tonoranga Manakan, Ipoinchoa, Tonos Imaragith, Wanara Korachi Drumka, Sa Inchobin Sasha, Tosimana Rochetta, Tonos Imaragith, Wanara Korachi Drumka, Sa Inchobin Sasha, Tosimana Rochetta. In Wamagro, May Ranga na Norota, the Rana Mo Sibu in Dasarans, Krema Sunkum Ratungala, Chabi Mo Jubu in Kosoracha. The Chabi Doko, Tona. Hey, what are you doing in my apartment? Looked like you were doing more than just looking. Figured what? You just break into my apartment and take everything I own? Are you crazy? Yeah, I thought so. Get out of here before I get the TSF. Nita manja yumar lorda wata no sanazika. Tovre kun mili wosa slima pogwanga samoana muta. Kavadumba munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji yuma. Tonghi te mosi jochia yumba ditawa e bawa toneruta. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatora. Tayaita ta bosanan hansata. E jikonu ta yun yuna palawa lit basha makaranwa ni rotu guru nichurota. Minsune kum ni honka gratu chiko pumalia e bista. Eta kawata rakawa karatonga. Da hupa, bosa kurata, go jujutu yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki yukito tune. Kavadumba munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji yuma. Kavadumba munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji yuma. 
Ta come tak, plagia justing, miki gongo beast, kun grabi la king no mula ra kichi kuta grasa kisha. Ento mesh mi paju, watamincha, yo colo un doado, nukula mira wa, tines un soto. Truth, love, find you, Gilfa. Who be truth, love, 
Pan Yibo Yelfa Hoi Sidan Yelfa Pani No Pan Yelfa Pabu Yelta Rengun Das Hoi Sidan Yelfa Pabu Yelta your speech is filled with maybes and perhaps. You are bold to make promises of healing while the world under your care burns and dies. You may be able to help, but there is always a price, is there not? <laughs> Hello there, and greetings from Isis and Onderon. I'm a diplomat from Queen Talia on Onderon. My stay was supposed to have been shorter, but the contract disputes over the restoration project have prolonged it. 
The Athorians negotiated the export of flora and fauna from Onderon, but with their disagreements with Zerka, the status of our arrangement is in the air. I'm a diplomat. D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. How may I help you? Zerka Corporation has operations on many systems, providing everything from medical supplies to starship weapon systems. Here on Telos, Zerka Corporation is involved in the restoration project, which Zerka hopes will serve as a model for future operations of this nature. I hear Asgol's been paying mercenaries to go to Dantooine. Can't figure out why anyone would need mercy. I hear Asgol's been paying mercenaries to go to Dantooine. Larso isn't the most popular executive I've worked under, but I'll say one thing. She gets the job done. I knew you'd come eventually. I'm confident that we will be able to reach a working agreement satisfactory to both you and I. But where are my manners? On behalf of Zerka Corporation, I would like to be the first to welcome you to Telos. I can understand why you might be on their side, but believe me, you wouldn't be doing Telos any favors assisting those amateurs. Oh sure, Habat's intentions are good enough. But good intentions won't restore Telos. His expensive policy of relocating biological specimens from Onderon, without any planning, will doom Telos in the end. I don't think Habat even realizes that at their current pace, they will run out of funding before even half of the restoration zones are up and running. Zerka plans to use some of the planet's own resources to help fund the restoration. These extra funds will greatly improve the project in the long run. Habat, on the other hand, can't see beyond his own selfish concerns. We've discovered that the surface of Telos is covered with military facilities that were either destroyed or abandoned during the Sith attack. Salvaged raw materials from these sites can either be reprocessed and put back into service, or resold to help fund the project. A lot of us are tempted to go, though. Asgol might not be a good guy, but for enough credits, any risk is worth it. Citadel Station right now. We need Republic assistance. Animal 
sibu anda sorans. Krema sungkum ratunggala. Cawi mo jubu ingko soraca. Inwa magro. Mei rangga na noruta. Bacabi doko. Tona rangga mana cungga. Loka kama rangin doso rangwi no cabi. Tu ranta mana sobu. Tere wana jung konata delo era guno tuna. Dai rinto runka ore kare papanala ranchinga. Tere ache wa meno toto ore re seni sentan. That didn't look like an accident to me or my associate here. It looked like you wanted to make a fool of him. Charanana gundoso remina ke lorakto guru katada. Fiara tora pada no ringa tel kamarada tel fibu nubu da bikarana cheni rara. Not even an apology. That won't do at all. This Sulliston here had a few things to say about us that we didn't take to so well. We're just trying to work out our differences. Tana besaran kati. Go na ring pang se misanchera. Go la marakta dun. Does it mean falar ser sen que la folorondon? De rantasa beni hulen ben celerente. Dos ne grabar dentro que o apatero tan chingaradona. Tere wana jun conata de la guna tuna. Dai rinto ron cabre cabre papana la ranchinga. De racha we minuto tore re sen sen. This doesn't have anything to do with you stranger. Just move right along. Have a drink in the cantina. Just my luck. Someone who wants to be a hero. Why don't you run along before you get hurt? Believe me, there's nothing to talk about. You must be kidding me. One hundred credits? Why don't you just run along and let us handle this? Then you shouldn't have gotten involved. Time to take you down to side. Module 081 Cantina. How can I assist you? 
We feature Citadel Station's most talented all-bit band around the clock, as well as live Twi'lek dancers. You won't find any holograms here. Casual Pazak players should be able to find a friendly match in the game room. Or, if you're a bit more seasoned, we have daily tournaments with some of the best players in the Outer Rim. Cards too slow for you? Try your hand at Citadel Station's swoop track and see if you can challenge the all-time records. Last but not least, we feature only the finest cuisine and beverages from Ryloth to Coruscant. Ah, so you must be the Jedi everyone's been whispering about. No more trouble with the TSF, I hope? Perhaps you don't know who I am? You haven't been on Citadel Station long, have you? Let me introduce myself. I'm Benok, the man in charge of Lopak Slusk's protection. You do know who Lopak Slusk is, don't you? The two gentlemen with me are Matu and Nahata, Slusk's finest men. Other than me, of course. Oh, leave the man alone, Benok. I bet he'd come out on top if you fought. Now, Lux, uh, I meant no disrespect. You're probably Slusk's strongest woman. It's your skin, Banok. Just warning you, Slusk could easily replace you. And I doubt you could cause any. Trading jabs with Luxa is hardly the entertainment I was looking for. Let's go. Hello there. Hmm. Fresh blood at the cantina. Enjoy. Your drinks are on me. We should talk. Later. If you're asking me that, handsome, you're better off not knowing. Tell you what. You just enjoy yourself, and if in the future we have business together, you can come back and we'll have a little chat. Gavadumpa Munsuru Kupla Liyawa Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Ulwanjiuma Chone Mulera Tonkinge Bano Jansaka Nicaraska Tancha Nik Mawimbo Kranta Mibilan Kawana Bota Yunta Tanga Kinamatura Tayaita, ta bosananansata. Kawana bota, yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita, ta bosananansata. Gavadumpa munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanjiuma. Da hupa, bossa curata, go jujuto yoki, hiata yamba wajiaki, yukito tune, kawana bota, yunta tanga kinamatura, tayaita, ta bosananansata, kawana bota, yunta tanga kinamatura, tayaita, ta bosananansata. Kavadumba munsuru. Da hupa, bossa curata, go, kawana, kawa. Basa batu slima poiwanga, do chunga niki, chala, seleriti mat muntana. Balaki cheminga. Pawan mitra janta, yunta moskun. Nandimi sunar krunta kanta ji picha. Kawana bota yunta tanga. Is there something I can do for you? What's there to say? We're the only corporation with a branch on Citadel Station. Getting in early, as they say. If this whole Telos thing pans out, we could be in a great position. If Lorso doesn't screw it up, that is. Yeah, it's a long shot considering the state of the Republic these days. Still, if it works out, the Republic may decide to start restoring other war-torn worlds. At least, that's what Zerka hopes. If we can integrate ourselves into the process, Zerka stands to make a tidy profit in the future. 
quite a few ways. As part of the Republic contract rewarded for a planet like Telos, Zerka is allowed to use the planet's natural resources to help fund and support the project. On top of that, the Senate's easy to negotiate with. They're liberal with the amounts of credits they throw around, even with the Republic being in the shape it's in. And, of course, new planets mean new markets for Zerka products. All in all, a very good arrangement for us. Good, Jana Lorso. That woman's a... a f look, forget it. She's my superior, and that's that. She'll screw up soon enough, and then I'll move in for the kill. She's got her hands in too many dirty little... Um, whoa, I, I think I've had a few too many drinks. I shouldn't be talking to you about this stuff. Just forget it. I don't understand your problem with the Republic. It's not like Onderon hasn't benefited from joining. It was one of the darkest days in our history. Talia sold Onderon to the Republic, and what did we receive in return? Nothing. In exchange for the blood of our soldiers, the prosperity of Isis has been stripped to decorate dead planets like this. Look, if it weren't for the Republic, you'd all be speaking Mandalorian by now. And because we accepted the Republic's aid, we should be indented to them forever? You make it sound like the Republic turned Onderon into a prison colony. Perhaps. Only that the Republic did not even conquer us. Our own betrayed us and allowed the Republic to take what it would. It's always the same story. Things are going well. Well, if our treasury continues to be sound, projects like this one, Onderon, will be the next dead planet on the outer rim. Hey there! Care for a game of Pazak? Phew! Three in a row! I suppose my lucky card isn't so lucky anymore. Here, why don't you take it? I think I'll take a break from the game for a time. Ring Lord Jawata Jor Tungichi, we were Wata Wama. King Chu Sachikin, Wachike Butimilia, no wish the Keta Kun no Blachin Bikum? Tavadumba Munsur Kupla Liawa, Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Takometa, Blaia Justing, Miki Gongo Beast, John Murdo Recun. Yeah, there's nothing Swoop fans like more than seeing a good wreck, Dorchi. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamato. Kavadumba munsu.
Kava dumpa munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagara. Kava dumpa munsuru kawana bota yunta. Tonghi te mosi jochia yun kawa. Unta chiwita. Tovrekun. Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand, and they're too much of the TSF to handle. We need Republic troops to restore. Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand. and they're too much for the TSF to handle. We need Republic troops to restore. Dragon X-1 gestale lor cha jemu me pete rong choda? Ruka sole mo la soch? Kava na takalu! Kava na mi donki krato. We saw Mogo Dosi Sheba Dente School and Mostovi Gita Yavach, Pictareshan. Drava Krita Punta to Umpi, Conkili Nachati, Nukoso Boramwe, Masoko Chiro, Danja Ita Wichi Dumba, Kavanekun Noba Kinek, Mawinbo Krata Nibilan. Puta Yanolia, Jukta Genichu Bawanki, Najung Winotonma, no Mirita. This dock is off limits pending an ongoing t- Donos Emeragith, wana ragora chi drunta sa in chobin sasha. Dosimana rachata. Donos Emeragith, wana ragora chi drunta. Ah, we 
I'm glad you're here. I'm the only man the TSF could spare, and frankly, I got a bad feeling about this. Excuse me, Master, but it seems we have some additional visitors. Time to even the odds. Master, one of the assailants was carrying this. I do not approve of this alliance we have formed with Chodo Habat and his Ithorians. Habat has an agenda, 
and he hopes to tie you into it to use you to his own ends. Be that as it may, it would be best if you avoided such needless entanglements. You are too valuable to be caught up in the struggles of this planet. I cannot force you to listen to reason, only hope that you will grow past these infantile delusions of right and wrong. The TSF isn't cut out to handle all the problems on Citadel Station right now. We need them. TSF station. I will call up the appropriate information now. One moment. Searching. One moment. I regret to inform you that the Ebon Hawk is gone. The TSF believes it was stolen and is currently investigating. It seems the Ebon Hawk was transferred to Telos's surface instead of an impound dock. However, both the requester and the point of delivery are unknown. In addition, the vessel is not showing up at any government-sanctioned landing site. I would conjecture that it has been stolen, and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. I knew it! That stupid T3 unit stole our ship! It's probably joyriding through the system right now, laughing at us, laughing at me! That is unlikely. While your utility droid is not accounted for, numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebonhawk leaving the system. Wait! You're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos' surface? I don't understand. Telos' atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Of course, the quarters in Residential Module OE2 will remain yours until the situation is resolved. There was a query regarding the Ebonhawk's ID signature sent from the Paradis mining facility. However, all data collected in response to the query has been deleted. It is likely that this information was removed when the vessel's transfer request was modified. Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. I will open the door for you so that you may retrieve them. You will find them in the security lockers. There was a query regarding the Ebonhawk's ID signature. It is likely... I am not qualified to answer that question. However, it is unlikely that someone could steal a starship from under TSF observation without considerable backing. If your vessel has been stolen, there is a fair chance that the Exchange possesses relevant information. I do not know what else to suggest, beyond waiting in your quarters for further word. The Exchange is a major intergalactic crime syndicate. They are trying to gain a foothold in the Citadel most likely seeking to integrate themselves as fully as possible with the new Telos. It is rumored that the Bumani Exchange Corporation, located in Residential Module 082, is a front for the Exchange on Citadel Station. Not beyond investigating the matter and extending our offer of free room and board. The 
TSF isn't cut out to handle all the problems on Citadel Station right now. We need Republic assistance. Something I can help you with? To be honest with you, I just don't know. We desperately rely on the fuel to keep Citadel Station running. If we can't find a new fuel source soon, we'll be in bad shape. There's enough fuel in the reserves to keep Citadel Station from falling out of orbit, and for managing the restoration project, but not much more than that. If only it were that easy. The Republic's tight on credits right now, still recovering from the war. They're sparing all they can, but it's not enough. We relied almost completely on Paragus for our fuel. It's hard to make up for a planet's worth of fuel exports. Absolutely. We need to find a new fuel service, sign contracts, make agreements. A soldier like me is not good at that sort of thing. You? You've got enough trouble, I think. And this is all your fault anyway. Look, it doesn't matter what I think. But sure, if you find someone with a load of fuel in their hand they'd like to sell to us, let me know. I'll be waiting. Something I can help you? A blaster. Hmm. I don't see why not. What? Where did you get this? Mm hmm. Interesting. This is no ordinary holdout blaster. It's been outfitted with a number of illegal modifications. You say you found this at the docks? That is disturbing news. Yes, that is true. But a weapon with these black market editions should not be available on the station. When off-world weapons are transported onto Citadel Station, whether they are personal arms or shipments to be resold, they are inspected and licensed by the TSF. This confirms my fear that there is a source of black market weapons and components here on the station. I could use your help getting to the bottom of it. A relative stranger as yourself might be useful for the investigation. You'd be compensated, of course. Great. The first thing I would suggest is showing the blaster around, discreetly. See if anyone on the station knows something about it, or at least reacts suspiciously. There's more than a few people around here I'd suspect having a hand in this. Anyways, good luck. Let me know if you find the source of the blaster. Thank you. 